guys. I wanted to come out here with the, um, the sheep really quick and show you. Sorry, it's a little windy. Um, but I kind of fell off a cliff <laughs> when I had our third baby, uh, Maddie Jo. And so I didn't, that was right after we started lambing. No, I had her, then we started lambing like a couple weeks after. So you guys didn't get a full picture of us lambing for the first time. And you didn't get a picture of our um, F1 uh, Australian white lambs being born. So I'm gonna show you them today. Um, they're a little bit under three months old. If you guys like our Australian white content, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel because we have lots more coming on that. The kids are over at the four wheeler. Okay, let me flip this around so I can show you. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at them. They are huge. Like this one right here is a little ewe lamb. I am just so impressed with how they have been growing. Of course, the dogs are gonna lead them away. But even right here, these three, those are all um, Australian whites. These two back here are, now when I say Australian whites, I do mean that they are um, F1s, which means that they, that our ram is full Australian white and our ewes are not. They are um, mostly Katahdin's and then seven of them we bought from a breeder around here and they are Katahdin mixed with uh, St. Croix. And we are really, really happy with all of our lambs that we got. We got lucky and got 10 new lambs and two ram lambs, um, which I could not be um, happier about because we're gonna be keeping all of those ewe lambs, obviously, and having them um, help us breed up to our full Australian whites. Um, they're just walking away. They just don't care. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. But yeah, we had easy um, lambing. We only had one issue with one with Miss Mothering. She was having her lamb at the same time as um, a mom that was having that had just dropped twins. So we did lose one little ram lamb. Um, I do have that mama's tag marked, and we'll be seeing if we'll call her in the future. All of these guys right here. They're just beautiful. Growing beautiful. So, so happy with how they're growing. So I'll be doing another video in the future on like what my business plan is for our Australian white program. Um, that way you guys can have an idea. I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys to sign up for my email list. If you're interested in Australian whites in the future, um, get on that email list because I'll be sending out emails whenever we have stuff that comes up with them, like if we have anything for sale or um, just different things like that. I do have two ram lambs, like I said, um, right over here. That one is one of the ram lambs. Um, <laughs> see my son. William, here, look, what are you looking at? You're just looking at them. Um, but yeah, I think we will probably sell our F1 ram lambs. I was going to plan on butchering them, but you know, if somebody wants a 50% Australian white, why not let them? So, right here, you can see two. I don't know. Gracie Mae's jumping on the four-wheeler. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and leave it at that. If you guys uh, haven't already subscribed to our channel, the next video that you guys are going to see is us bringing our, um, our Jersey heifer home for the first time. So that's a little bit of a transition from sheep, but you know, when you're a family farm, you dabble in a little bit of everything. So Okay, we will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Friday. So, bye guys.